tuition and books, flight and immigration support, room and board, stipend for living expenses, health insurance, career services and support, access to Global Mastercard Foundation Global. I have uploaded so many videos recently, one with stamp, scholarship in the US, McDonnell scholarship in the US, and Knight Hennessy scholarship as well. So all these scholarships are for graduate students. And if you are an undergraduate student, I think that much um, college or university, again, is another recent video I have just uploaded. So all you have to do is just to stick with the channel. Check through the, the channel to see which opportunity is there for you. Congratulations on opening this video. In today's video, we are going to look at a prestigious scholarship that is the Mastercard Foundation Scholarship for sub saharan African countries in Canada within the University of British Columbia. The scholarship gives everything you need for your studies. It provides living expenses, you don't have to pay any tuition, you don't even have to pay application fee. That's the good thing. So the basic thing is that you just apply through you apply to the foundation and they will pre-assess your application. If they see that yes, you meet the criteria for you to be awarded the scholarship, then they will send your name to the university, University of British Columbia in Canada. Then the university will reach out to you via email, inviting you for you to apply for your program. It's simple, just so simple as that. So if you're interested in this opportunity, all you have to do is just to sit with me and let's get into it. Let me take you through the requirements and everything you need to know about this scholarship. And by the way, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I have uploaded so many videos recently. One with STAMP scholarship in the US, McDonnell scholarship in the US, and Knight Hennessy scholarship as well. So all these scholarships are for graduate students. And if you are an undergraduate student, I think that much um, college or university, again, is another recent video I have just uploaded. So all you have to do is just to stick with the channel, check through the, the channel to see which opportunity is there for you. See you and let's get into today's video. Bye bye for now. Hello guys, welcome back to another video month of September. So today's video, we are looking at a scholarship, the MasterCard Foundation Scholars Program at University of British Columbia. This is in Canada, Vancouver campus. Okay. So on this page, this is what we are going to do. I'm just going to show you the benefits of this scholarship. Then I will use another page wherein I will demonstrate the eligibility criteria or show you the eligibility criteria the causes and of course the program, the countries that are eligible. Okay, because I have made a video on this one, this scholarship again at uh, another university, which is McGill, uh, McBain, McGill University. Okay, in Canada as well. So if we come down here, so first of all. Look at it here, it says MasterCard Foundation Scholars Program at UBC. This is for graduate levels master's program. Applied to join the next generation of leaders who are committed to driving change through sustainable leadership, community-led development. We empower young people in four many ways. So where, first one, access and thrive, community engaged learning, dignify and fulfilling work. And the last one, agency and voice. Now the scholarship covers tuition and books, flight and immigration support, room and board, stipend for living expenses, health insurance, career services and support, access to Global Mastercard Foundation Global Foundation Alumni Network, social entrepreneurship fund initiative for scholars who are enterprising and who want to start a venture bank, a venture back on their continent. Okay, so with that, this is the application timeline. But the application timeline has opened since August the 30th, and and it will close closes on this scholarship closes on the 31st. 
October and November, the application moved to another stage. But before we go into the eligibility criteria and other things I have said, let me use this opportunity to take you back to my scholarship um, page. I mean, like the YouTube channel, if you're new to this channel, welcome to the family where I give scholarship tips, advice, and of course, scholarship information, conferences. So this is our channel and we'd like you to be part of us. We've made so many videos already, 149. I have evergreen videos, videos that are always um, needed, that are always needed. And I think you may want to check the channel, not just for this video, but other videos as well. There are other scholarships that are still open, so just browse through this YouTube channel, and I'm quite sure you find an, an opportunity that interests you. Okay, so let's go now to this scholarship in detail. Now, this is the other video I have made already, but it's the same scholarship, so the criteria are all the same. Now, the Mastercard Foundation Scholars Program, this is not McGill. We are talking of British Columbia, in terms of, but it's just the same. It's open to talented leaders and change makers at very clear levels. From across sub sahara Africa, who aspire to improve and transform nutrition, public health, public policy, and sustainable agricultural sectors across Africa. So these are basically some of the causes that are eligible. Now, how to apply? First, you determine your eligibility criteria, which we are going to look at. You complete the MasterCard Foundation Scholars Program application form. The next stage, once your application is pre-screened, provide additional documentation as requested by the MasterCard Foundation Scholars Program team. Now, successful pre-screened applicants will be invited to apply to the university. I mean, like, so wherever you see McGill, we are going to put what? University of British Columbia. Okay, so that's because it's just the same. So several applicants will receive a fee waiver. Most often it will be the same thing and detailed instruction on how to apply for admission at that particular university. So I've just said, of course, you know. So the first thing you have to do is to apply to the MasterCard Foundation Scholarship. Okay, that's the first thing. And as you can see from the British Columbia page, it opens since August. So for, for that, it's active. The video I made for this university, it is not yet until September, okay? So whatever you are seeing here, this is not for um, for this video. This is for the other video I have made, okay? And we don't need to read this timeline because it's not the same. It's going to be a bit different because for them here, the MasterCard Foundation Scholars Program application opens on the 23rd. But when you look at that website, which is Columbia, if I can take you back quickly, you can see here, opens August 30th and the 31st, it closes. Okay, so just get that. So, and you can always reach out to see an email here. Okay, if you want to know. Now let's go back. Yeah, I was, the selection process is going to be the same. So first of all, you have to, for you to be selected, you need to have met one of, I mean, to have met this criteria, academic mates, of the candidate that qualifies for admission to the university, that's the British Columbia, um, track record on transformative leadership and persons of service within their community, quality of application in line with the MasterCard Foundation ethos and values. Okay. Now the potential impact of development in their home countries, applicants who have faced significant barriers, this one, <laughs> all of us are, in this, okay, social, financial, personal, practical, and health related. Okay, now the other thing we have to look at is the eligibility criteria, right? As I told you, so under eligibility criteria for this scholarship, um, prospective applicant must certify, must meet the minimum criteria, be admitted to one of the eligible non thesis program at the particular university, so the British Columbia. What we are seeing, I just wanted to replace because the information is just the same. Okay, have never registered for or completed a master's degree, be a citizen and live in sub saharan African countries, be eligible countries. We are going to look at this one quickly, uh, very soon rather. 
have a valid passport and be admissible to Canada as an international student require, requiring a study permit. Okay, those with dual citizenship, asylum or refugee, or permanent resident status in the US, Canada, UK, or EU are not eligible because this is sub Sahara. Okay, have an exceptional record of service, leadership, and activity in your school or community and must be less than 35. Applicants with first class honors or equivalents have a stronger chance of being admitted because this McGill and British Columbia are top universities in Canada. So eligible non-thesis um, programs, you need to have a bachelor's degree equivalent, ensure that, and ensures that your bachelor's degree meets equivalence requirements to view eligible programs. So you see animal science, sustainable agriculture, environmental engineering, integrated food, integrated water resource management, biostatistics, public policy. This might be different, but I'm quite sure, like, let me don't share. that. This might be different a bit. So check with the university, reach out. The most important thing you've seen that the scholarship is there. If you want to know the eligible programs, and you don't even need to rush to apply for the, but you need to know the programs, yes. You need to know the program. So reach out and ask. The programs are eligible for the MasterCard Foundation. And eligible countries are here. If you go down, you see all eligible, eligible countries. Angola, Benin, Botswana, Chad, Comoros, Guinea, Ghana. Okay? Of course, sub Sahara countries. Sierra so Leone, Somalia, South Africa, Zambia. Okay? I don't want to make, I just want to make this video very, very short. And I'm quite sure. So this is it, basically. This is British Columbia. And you've seen the information. Follow us for you to stay. And what the scholarship covers, the timeline. We'll just reach out or apply to the MasterCard Foundation. Okay? Any question you have, and you can click this one. You can look at the journey, January, everything. This is just the timeline. Okay, guys. Um, please consider subscribing. Is done the bell notification for other videos. And we upload videos here Mondays and Thursdays. It might be a shot, it might be a picture, it might be anything, but those dates, I'll try my best to upload something for you guys. Bye bye, and see you again in my next video. Take care of yourselves and continue doing whatever you're doing, okay?